Hey everyone, it's me, Elena. Welcome back to my last day of Donkey Kong Country. We are going to fight the final boss and get to the end of here. Um, so, uh, yeah. King K. Rool, he's the leader of the Kremlings. Uh, and as you see, he's a pirate. You see all these... This, this gangplank galleon and all this... Uh, pirate music going on. It's very much, uh... Yeah, he and Ridley are like the pirates of Smash Ultimate. They both came into the base roster. They're both the reptilian pirates. They're both the main antagonists of their respective series. Even though Ridley is only in second command by the brain. They have a lot in common, honestly, as characters. And they both ultimately were not all that uh, uh, popular with like the uh, professional play, ultimately. Ultimately, they were. Uh, they were just kind of there for the fun of it. Anyways. Sorry I left that death in. I swear, there's gonna be like a lot of money to do it all the way through. I, I cut out a lot of deaths earlier after recording my voice over a lot of them, and I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna cut most, if not all, the deaths out. That one I think I'll leave in. Because after that, I just immediately just wallop him. The name of King Kirill is like, like any good platformer boss. He's got all about pattern memorization. You gotta know his patterns to be able to beat him. Honestly, King K. Rool is just such a great villain and a great final boss to this game. Uh, Cause like, uh, uh, like, he's got like, all of the hallmarks of a well-designed platformer boss. All the patterns, all the uh, phases. He's also got all the character uh, motivations and such that make him a villain. He's like, he's such a great final boss to this game and to the Donkey Kong series as a whole, especially in the Rare era. Um, uh, King K. Rool. Like, you see this right here. This is like, this is like textbook in how to design a final boss in the Super Like, basically textbook. Example. Anyways, you're gonna see a bit of that here. A bit of that uh, cleverness here. Some cheeky bracelets. Credits. Coding, claptrap, characters, crush up, coloring, critter, concept, plump, and commander is King K. Rool. The end? That's not the end. That's a fake out credit. That could very well be his final smash in another timeline we were in. But we're the timeline where his final smash is a giant laser cannon from Dominic Civil War. Either way, it's a great final smash. Uh, I mean, we already have screen KOs in the series, so it makes sense for the other one to be there, too. Anyways, I'm just gonna deal with King Rool here. He's gonna hop even smaller increments. This is the last thing we had to do. I had to do him ten times. And he's down. We got the banana back, and the banana horn is here. Is art. Well done, Donkey Mama boy. Who'd have thought a young whipper sniper like you would have beaten that no bunch, a bunch of no good crumblings? You've done an old man proud. Go and look to your horror. I think you'll be in for a surprise. So yeah, I had been playing out of fun everything. I'm sure there must be some bonus rooms out in town. We got the bananas back! They're ours! And now for the credits. Cat, the real credits. Cast of characters. The bad guys. Naughty. Neki. Army. Zingers. I hate those guys. <laughs> Slippa. Ming Kong. Mini Neki. The Aquatic Bad Guys. White Size. Proctobus. Chomps Jr. Chomp Senior. Clambo. John Clambo. 
Squidge. Yep, that was gotta hold squidges. I, I thought that. I didn't know for sure, but I thought that was what they're called. The Kremlings. Critters. Yep, those are the critters. Plump. Crash. Claptrap. Crock Rock. Russia. The the good guy. The bosses. Very naughty. Master Neki Jr. Queen Bee. Really naughty. Dum Drum. Master Neki Sr. No King Carol. He's gone for good for now. No, he's here. I forgot, King Hero was in there. I forgot that, that he was there. I didn't know he was in the credits here. But this is the real credits. The good guys. Brambi. Espresso. I used to think Espresso was called that. Uh, on guard. Winky. And Squawk. The Kongs. Is that my turn yet? Funky Kong. Candy Kong. Terrell is me next! Funky Kong, thank you! Uh, Winky Kong. No, is it this? Diddy Kong and Dog Kong. Diddy Kong and Dog Kong. I, I thought I said Winky Kong, no, it's Diddy Kong. So, uh, yeah. And oh, we're gonna see a little cartoon antics play out here. But yeah, tell me what you thought of this game down below. I love your thoughts, I'll do a little short recap of this game. Uh, just so I can get more traction on my videos, I'm gonna do a little recap, short recap. Uh, and uh, yeah. That should do it for Dog Kong Country. I'll, I'll uh, see you next time. For uh, Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time, that's, uh, that's gonna be next. And now the credits roll. Chris Sutherland, he's the programmer and also the voice of Donkey Kong during the N64 days. So yeah, tell you guys got inside of the game. I thought the, the graphics and sound were, even by today's standards, pretty unique and well thought out. Uh, the, the gameplay is definitely very derivative of Super Mario Brothers, but the graphics and sound are phenomenal. Like, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, May I tell you what you guys think in the comments below? See you next time. For, uh... Uh... Ocarina of Time. Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time. Bum 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 And there's one last thing we're going to do after we get to the credits here. We're going to, uh... Uh, we're going to check in our banana horde at the very start of the game to double check if it's there. Presented by Nintendo. A rare correction. And that's the game! That is Doctor and Country. Uh, and next time we're going to play Doctor and Time. Yeah. Real quick, I'm just gonna show you, double check if the horde hasn't been stolen overnight. Gonna go into double hidings where our DKS house is. Of course, we're gonna check out the house uh, for a nice little relaxing time. I'm gonna show you a, an ability that Donkey Kong has that we never really use in this playthrough, like, at all. You can press down and uh, roll to a uh, ground pound. It doesn't really do much in most levels. It's kind of useless, but get the bananas back. Double checked, and it's there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time for uh, our current time.